You want to guarantee your spot on mom's good list this Mother's Day? Stick around until the end of this video for a special deal on the Mother's Day gift of the year from Aura Frames. I will spare you the jokes about brain worms and get to what I think is actually an important story. Um, in this interview that was done between the New York Times and Robert Kennedy Jr. Here's the headline, if you haven't seen it. It's a doozy, prepare yourself. Uh, RFK Jr. says doctors found a dead worm in his brain. The presidential candidate has faced previously undisclosed health issues, including a parasite that he said ate part of his brain. Now, brain, brain worm jokes uh, aside, this is a serious issue when you have someone who is admitting that a worm, a parasite, ate a part of his brain. In an election cycle where cognitive impairment or ability is in the spotlight, this guy, this 70-year-old, this elderly man with crack pot, wild conspiracy theories that only cognitively impaired individuals really double down on, now we're learning maybe why. And it's not just the brain worms, and you'll find out. In 2010, Robert, Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. was experiencing memory loss and mental fogginess so severe that a friend grew concerned he might have a brain tumor. Mr. Kennedy said he consulted several of the country's top neurologists, many of whom had either treated or spoken to his uncle, Senator Edward Teddy Kennedy, before his death the previous year of brain cancer. Several, you know, th this is what I find interesting that when he finds out that, oh shit, you might have a, a, a brain tumor, or they find out it's a, a worm dead in his brain after having eaten part of his brain. He goes to scientists, he goes to doctors, he goes to neurologists who themselves are experts in the medical field who would also advocate him getting vaccinated. Doesn't trust that because apparently he's using part of the brain that was eaten away to decipher and determine whether vaccines are safe when it has been proven over the decades and the generations that they are. But I digress. Several doctors noticed a dark spot on the younger Mr. Kennedy's brain scans and concluded that he had a tumor, he said in a 2012 deposition reviewed by the New York Times. Mr. Kennedy was immediately scheduled for a procedure at Duke University Medical Center by the same surgeon who had operated on his uncle, he said. While packing for the trip, he said, he received a call from a doctor at New York Presbyterian Hospital who had a different opinion. Mr. Kennedy, he believed, had a dead parasite in his head. The man who wants to be president of the United States, a job that requires full access to the brain pan, doesn't have a full brain pan because part of it was eaten by a parasite. The doctor believed the, that the abnormality seen on his scans, quote, was caused by a worm that got into my brain and ate a portion of it and then died, Mr. Kennedy said in the deposition. About the same time he learned of the parasite, he said, he was also diagnosed with mercury poisoning, most likely from ingesting too much fish containing the dangerous heavy metal, which can cause serious neurological issues. Quote, this is a quote, this is a quote from the man who wants to be president of the United States. I have cognitive problems, clearly, he said in the 2012 deposition. I have short-term memory loss, and I have longer-term memory loss that affects me. All you RFK fans out there, who complain and whine about Joe Biden's cognitive ability when he has a full brain with access to a full brain? What 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 do you what do you have to say? The article continues. Doctors who have treated parasitic infections and mercury poisoning said both conditions sometimes permanently damage brain function, 
But patients can also have temporary symptoms and mount a full recovery. Well, we've witnessed RFK Jr. for months and months, years and years. And I think we can all independently determine whether or not the, the, the damage was temporary. Not a doctor. Don't know for sure. Don't know him. Wouldn't know how to decipher CT scans or x-rays or whatever else. But let me tell you, it seems to be commonsensical that if a parasite eats part of your brain and then dies inside your, your skull, that's not good. And he wants to be president. And he wants to impose upon the United States a host of bizarre conspiracy-driven theories that he will put into policy rolling back uh, vaccine, vaccine availability, at the very least, fostering and fomenting doubt about vaccines, which saved the world in short order, having just gone through the pandemic. We know just how important vaccines are. We know that the eradication of polio is because of this. We also know that going back into the 1700s, George Washington imposed mandatory vaccinations on the troops because they knew the efficacy, and it wasn't even a vaccine then, it was just scraping bloody scabs and then poking it into to people's bodies. They knew that it would, in many cases, curtail the illness and stop it from spreading further. But half-brain Robert F. Kennedy Jr., he wants you to think otherwise. Anyway, i love to know what you think about this. i really love to know from some RFK fans. I get emails from them. I really need to change my ways and look at him, give this guy an honest shot. He's a kook. He's a quack. He's a conspiracy theorist. He's a, a serial, insane philanderer. I mean, he is not ready for prime time. Never will be, never was. Nepo baby... <laughs> The, the, the chief Nepo baby of a Nepo baby family. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, as always, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love to hear from you. Please consider supporting this work. All of you RFK Jr. fans out there, please click the join button below for $2 a month. You can help me talk about your golden god, RFK Jr. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, two bucks a month, and uh, you can uh, help further the message. I would appreciate it very much. Uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter and Instagram and threads and TikTok and Facebook. This parasite free brain, as far as we know, I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going on in there, right? You can't see, I haven't had a CAT scan of my brain. Who knows? Weird, weird news. Anyway, uh, I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine and take care of one another. Whether or not it's obvious in your family, Mother's Day is a competition. Who can give the best gift to mom? Don't, don't, don't delude yourself. If you can buy crappy convenience store chocolates again, they will be held against you. <laughs> And it'll be in the court of maternal opinion. Get a leg up on the competition this Mother's Day and give your mom, your wife, your sister an Aura Frame. Aura Frames are beautiful Wi-Fi connected digital picture frames that allow you to share and display unlimited photos. The frames just take a couple of minutes to set up via the Aura app and the displays are meticulously high resolution so mothers in your life will never even think that they're looking at a screen. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com to get $35 off plus free shipping on their best-selling frame. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com. Use code Dollamore at checkout to save. Aura Frames display in true color and automatically adjust to light levels, so they'll turn off when you turn out the lights to save energy. And they have been featured in more than 130 different gift guides as well. They've been named the number one digital picture frames by the New York Times Wire Cutter, The Strategist, and Wired Magazine. Oh, and the best part, 
Each Aura Frames comes pre-packaged in a premium gift box, so they're already wrapped. Here's a tip for a head start on Mother's Day 2025. What's better than one Aura Frame? Ha <laughs> ha, two. Head to AuraFrames.com now to get $35 off their best-selling Carver mat frame plus free shipping. That's A-U-R-A frames.com and use code Dollamore at checkout. Take the prize of son, sibling, or husband of the year by purchasing Aura Frames for the mothers in your life. Terms and conditions apply.